Welcome back, LEGO fans. This is MyCorpsX here with another LEGO set review. This is the LEGO Galaxy Squad 30230 Mini Mech. It includes 28 pieces. So let's go ahead and open this up and then the review can begin. Well, that was quick. Here we have it. A neat little poly bag that was sold in 2013 for the orange team. This is pretty cool. It's got a nice amount of transparencies along with some things on hinges. Jack Fireblade is the pilot of this for team orange. And he's got a nice little crawler for multitasking purposes, I assume. It did come with a good amount of pieces for what it was. I think this thing looks pretty good all the way around, to be honest with you. Now, there are no actually projecting, like, shooters, but they did give us some more imaginative detail with these two trans yellow cones. So those are basically the, um, the weapons, but that's alright. This is pretty cool. I also do like the inclusion of the transparent 2x2 circular brick. I can see why they added that, because this thing would be pretty collapsible. So they added that so that a kids can put a good amount of pressure on this. And also, it makes good for putting the legs in different positioning and still having it be able to stand. You have, like, it's leaping, and it's, like, in midair with the transparency, or you could just have it all on the ground. You could even, if you want to, take this... Wow, that's hard. Take this off... And that, that's, that's what it would be like without that on, but then it's pretty easy to collapse. But that's really, I think, a good choice to do. Not only do we get that so it doesn't collapse or anything, but it also is an extra piece that we can use for different purposes, if not just for that. The whole top is on a turntable piece, so this can rotate around and fire, spray, any incoming bugoids. Then this is just a battle droid arm with that little control joystick that Jack Fireblade gets to hold. Now, as I said before, this, I love the chair piece. I thought it was extinct. I'm so glad that they used it. Even though these sets are generally old, I am glad to see it again. I just really like the piece. It's totally useful, and they have brought it back. It is back in more epic LEGO sets. Now, here's what I'm surprised to see. The inverted 2x2 tile. I didn't know that was invented back then. Obviously it was, and we get it in a nice gray, so that was pretty cool. Decent too, and I love just how many orange transparent things, and non-transparent too, but this really stands out for the orange team. I like it a whole lot. Not really anything to complain about. And for a poly bag, it is pretty good. So, now with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at its pilot. Galaxy Squad's Team Orange's finest, Jack Fireblade. This is his third set to star in. He does have the nice printing on the torso and legs, along with the orange theme color, which I think he just looks great, and of course he does. I love orange. Totally love orange. Then the printing on the back of his torso, along with the inclusion of... Not only a light trans mask, but of course behind the mask is the face printing. So as all Galaxy Squad minifigures, he has two faces. The Jack Fireblade and the air filter mask for Jack Fireblade. Battle Ruddy. He does not include a weapon in the set, which I would have preferred, of course, but that is okay. I think he has increased chances of using his mech instead of a uh, firearm. So Jack Fireblade for ya. Here he is in another great Galaxy Squad set. This will be in the set review. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Be sure to join the next one by subscribing and check out my upcoming and already uploaded Galaxy Squad set reviews. I'm sure you'll like what you find. For any other info or questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will fill you in. This is Minecorps X, and until next time, over and out. Thanks for watching.